the exterior rolling car shot. We've had quite a few of these on the main channel in our day, and we've had quite a few iterations of this setup too. Some have been a little too large, and some have been a little too risky. So I, I wanted to set out to create an easy to use, quick to set up, and most importantly, as inconspicuous as possible rig that will stand the test of time. This is the tow hitch rig. All of the audio in today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Hollyland. This is the Lark Max. We'll talk about it a little bit more later on. So you might remember about a year ago, we created a video about a crane system on a Tesla. And while very cool, yes, it's not exactly like the smallest thing in the world and also like not the most stealthy thing in the world. So within minutes of showing up to like a location, we'd get hit with A, what is that? And B, do you have permits? Bunch of narcs. Now don't worry, we have plans for that in the future, just in a different capacity. But this kind of spawned the idea. How do we create something similar to create a, a similar effect, but in a much smaller package? But this is definitely one of those like money shots for us with videos, car videos on the main channel. Uh, you see it a lot in like big commercials, Hollywood blockbusters, that kind of thing. Still shots, are boring as Like you wanna see the car in its natural habitat and largely that's going fast and on the highway. We also don't necessarily wanna keep dangling studio buds off the end of cars. It's not exactly OSHA approved. For the record, it's my idea. I, I volunteer to do that. Don't come after us. Now I'd say that this is probably the mainstay of this rig itself. This is the tow hitch attachment. Um, this right here allows for some solid shock absorption as well as a secure method of mounting the rig to the car itself. But this right here is called the Ray Rig Pro. It is attached to the Kessler Kill Shock mount. It's about a $3,000 rig altogether. And we're using the stiffest of shock absorbers. There's three levels that it comes with, light, medium, and heavy. But we find for about 40 pounds of camera rig, the stiffest is the best result. Going much lighter can be a bit tedious. The next main focal point of the setup is the Ronin 2. This has been a, a workhorse at the office for quite a few years now. And it's also a main staple of this rig itself. You can slap it and secure it perfectly on the Kessler Killshock. It also comes with a micro adjustment controller. And we'll talk about this in a little bit, a little bit later, but this is also a huge part of this rig. But other than that, this is the V-Raptor XL uh, it has internal NDs, neutral density filters. This allows us to forgo having like a, a matte box on the front, A for weight savings, which is important for balancing, but also it allows us to swap lenses quite a bit quicker. And going down the list, we have the Tilta Nucleus M, our wireless follow focus, as well as the Teradac Bolt 4K. And these are all getting power from the P-taps on the top of the camera which is pretty sick. And now I'd say the main, main objective is to get rid of as many cables as humanly possible. And for a rig like this, that's not exactly the easiest thing in the world, especially for in-car video monitoring, the fewer chances to tangle cables, the better. So that's why we went with a completely cable-free wireless setup and pretty close to the optimal wireless operator setup. You know what else is the optimal operator wireless setup? Our video sponsor's newest mic, the Lark Max. See what I did there? The Lark Max comes in a portable charging case allowing for your system to last a total of 22.5 hours. That's a lot of hours. But without the charging case, the Lark Max can last 7.5 hours. That's also a lot of hours. Lark Max has float point encoding, supports USB digital audio out, EQ adjustments, and holds an Apple MFI certification. We love Apple. Good morning. It even allows for 820 feet between the transmitter and the receiver. That's a lot of feet. Lark Max utilizes environmental noise cancellation wow. for superior sound quality. Get yourself a Lark Max today. Use Studio 15 for 15% 15 off the entire store for 30 days from when this video is published using the link down below. Uh, you won't regret it. It's the entire store, 15% off. Just a heads up. Now back to the video. Now, good wireless control 
starts with good wireless playback. And for this, we're using the Teradek Bolt 4K. This allows for very low latency wireless playback while inside the car. Now, unfortunately, this does set you back about 2,500 bucks, which is pretty steep. But like this being sort of the backbone to this wireless setup, there are some other options out there. Like DJI makes a version that's quite a bit cheaper. Uh, also the video sponsor, Hollyland, makes a transmitter and receiver. Um, definitely invest in this of all parts. But we have this particular Teradek strapped to a small HD 1303, which is a, a 13 inch high resolution monitor. It actually has really great viewing angles too, which is pretty important for being in a car. And of course, this is also powered by a single V-mount on the back, all battery powered. But outside of video monitoring, this brings us to the operator handset. And this consists of the Ronin 2 controller. This allows for gimbal movements like I'm doing right now, and also roll and tilt adjustments. And also this is the Tilta Nucleus M follow focus. This may be called an autofocus channel, but it, it does happen to all be manual. And this is all mounted into a cine milled controller handset, also powered by a V-mount. We love batteries. And I find for, for best placements, I kind of like to position the monitor in the, uh, the middle seat crevice. In the future, I definitely want to try and build out like a backpack strap for the back seat in front of me. That way I can just sort of sit normally and have the view in front of me. But um, that that's that's for another it's for another video. But the name of the game is to be up and running in as short a period of time as possible. And this is pretty much just four parts. And I think I think we can get it all mounted and together in just about five minutes. Three, but let's two, give it a shot. One. But yeah, that's, yes. that's the Tohei trick. And the best part about it too, is it only requires like two people to have to be in this car, one to operate the camera and one to be driving the car itself, which is pretty great. Now I do still kind of view this as a work in progress. Like we have a couple things we're still working towards. One of those things is a solid remote start stop record for inside the car. Like we have this $500 red app that technically should be able to do that, but between being a moving object and also having a bunch of pieces of metal in between, it doesn't do that super well. But also in addition, soon we'll be able to power this entire thing off of the car battery itself, just plugging it right into the AC port in the truck bed. This is a Frankenstein rig. It's a bunch of random parts all cobbled together to make this whole entire operation happen. But that's also kind of the best part about video making is creating fun, ridiculous rigs to create cool, hard to get angles. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.